Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, I'm very excited today because my sister Frida has joined me today because we have come up with a new way of making duct tape projects without using duct tape and duct tape fabric because duct tape is getting a little expensive and people are asking for alternatives. So we've come up with a different way of doing so. Now, if you haven't checked it out, check out my um, tutorial on how to make duct tape fabric without duct tape. What should we call it? I guess we should call it... Let's call it packing tape magazine fabric or magazine fabric or picture fabric or... There you go. How about, how about we call it packing tape fabric? <laughs> packing tape fabric. That's good. So check out my tutorial on packing tape fabric. Now Frida, what I love about her is you give her something and she goes away and comes back with the most amazingly creative things made out of packing tape fabric. So check this out. This is a little purse made out of the packing tape fabric. Isn't that amazing? And check this one out. I love this one. What's really awesome about this is it's the inside of the bag because what she did is she used, um, would you use uh, scrapbook paper, right? Right, we have scrapbooking paper on the, we have scrapping paper on the inside with, and then there's a scrap, scrapbooking paper, a different kind on the outside with also magazine pictures on it and all sorts of stuff. Frida is really into collage and so she was able to do an amazing job of collaging this all up and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then she's added a strap. Now, one thing that you did tell me as you started making these bags is that you discovered that you really do need a little bit of duct tape, don't you? Yes, packing tape does not work as the joiners, uh, like to join the two pieces of packing tape fabric together. You really definitely need duct tape because you need that woven uh, material to really sort of just keep everything together uh, because the packing tape has a tendency to just sort of rip. Right. The problem of. with the packing tape is that it isn't as strong. Right. So when you get it going sort when of like this, it cool ends or up ripping. When you, yeah, when it, when it rubs against right. itself, right? Right. So Frida is going to show us how to make an amazing purse like this out of our packing, packing tape, tape fabric. fabric. Yes. <laughs> So I already have my wonderful piece of Ooh. packing tape fabric. Oh, I love these. I love the clouds. Thanks. So the way that the size that I decided to do it was I wanted to make sort of just like a smaller size clutch purse. Mm -hmm. So I have two pieces of... Um, is that the, the this car, is, yeah, is this it is, cardstock or is this the, the paper this that... Scrapbooking scrap paper. Okay. So two pieces of scrapbooking paper that I sort of glued together, put made the paper and then glued two other kinds on the other side, collaged it, whatever. Here okay, we go. Okay, so just so you understand, what she has done is she took two separate pieces of scrapbooking paper. You glued them at the joint yes. with, with stick glue, right? Yes. And then she covered them with the packing tape. Then on the back side, she glued with two the glue Two more stick. pieces. <laughs> two more. So this is an extra it's for, strip. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty thick. Okay, just so everybody understands and knows. And then you put your collage items on. I put a collage on top of it. And something else you should probably note is um, I didn't do anything to the sides because I'm about to put duct tape there. But on this top part, before I'm going to make this piece of uh, fabric into a bag, I've put a decorative piece of duct tape on the top of either side here just so that it's attractive looking. So you've sealed, so, so what she's done is The whole situation sealed is sealed together. The top parts yes. with the duct tape. Yes. Okay, great. So now we have our fabric. And again, check out our tutorial on how to make packing, packing tape, tape fabric, fabric. <laughs> <laughs> before you begin. Okay. So one thing I thought would be kind of cool just to show you also just start off is maybe you wanted to put a pocket inside. Oh, pockets are great. Um, but something that I think that would be notable is do it before you connect the purse together. Okay. So I'm just going to put this little guy in here. This is going to be my pocket. Speaking of little guys, that's a little that's guy. That's a little guy right there. <laughs> okay. And um, so you're going to put your pocket on the inside. I'm going to put my pocket on the inside and I'm just going to go ahead and seal that with some duct tape in so, place here. What she's done is she's taken a regular piece of duct tape, she's ripped it in half long ways, and as she's sealing this, what she's doing is she's putting half of the tape is going on the pocket, half of the tape is going onto the actual purse. Correcto. And we Moleskis like to uh, rip our tape, but if you wanted to, you could be using uh, scissors or an X-Acto knife to cut this, right? Perfect. Yes. And now you have a neat little pocket so you can slip, you know, 
cell whatever, phone your or whatever keys or whatever, whatever in there. Okay, yeah. cool. So now let's make a connected purse here. Okay, so what you're gonna do? Fold it in half. Okay, perfect. You and wanna you, hold that for sure. me? Sure. So, and now the same thing on the sides is what you're gonna do? Yes, I am. Okay, so she's gonna measure her tape there, and but this one you're gonna use a full piece of tape, aren't you? I think I will, yes. Okay. Let's make sure that's really nice and straight. Hold on a second, it wants to bend right here, but. Okay. Frida is very, very artistic, and she comes up with amazing ideas. She's also much more of a perfectionist than I am. I tend to be a little more sloppy than she does, but she's got amazing stuff. Okay. So she's gonna line this up again, half on, half off. Right, Fried? Half on, half off. Half on, half off. So you can see where it is, right there. Okay, so let's show them the back side so they can see. So you can see that there's half of the sticky side is off of the fabric because you're gonna fold that over, right? Yep, we're gonna just make this connection like that. And this is how we seal a normal duct tape fabric purse. Perfect. In fact, this is very much like, let's do the other side. Okay. Our advanced duct tape purse. Okay. Just, we're making it with uh, this cool packing tape packing tape fabric. Instead of using duct tape fabric. Yep. This is just another way to stretch that duct tape, which, you know, as we've said, has gotten rather expensive. Okay, and so. you might want to just, I mean, you might love collage like I do, or you might really have some cool photographs of your friends that you want to make up. The thing that's, bag for that's them. really neat about this is you can very, you can make these very personalized, right? Right. Like if you had a bunch of concert tickets that you wanted to remember oh, yeah, and make like fun. a cool wallet or clutch or anything, you know. So now I'm just going to snip the ends off here and make that nice and clean. And basically you can make anything that you can make out of duct tape out of this fabric, is that right? Yep. As long as you've got a little bit of the duct tape to seal the edges. Correct. Okay. So I folded over those little ends just because there were a little teeny bit of extra right sticky, there. Sticky, sticky. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what are you going to do? Well, right now you could just leave it as a clutch or actually this could be great for like putting papers in or sure. something like that. Sure. Yeah. If That'd you be wanted cool. to. So I'm just going to, like we do the advanced duct tape purse, I'm going to pop my hand in there. I'm just going to sort of uh, decide how fat I want the purse to be. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to do a pretty thin one because the bag itself isn't very big. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to make this like corner. So you folded it so it kind of pokes out like a triangle. Yes. And then I'm just going to flip that up. Okay. Just like that. Would you like me to hold that? I'd love it. Okay. So I'm holding it for her. But as you can see, that's just a point. I'm just going to take a little piece of tape here that I had left over. One of the things about these purses that's a little different from the duct tape purses, especially if you do like Frida did here, she did two layers front and back of paper, it's sturdier, it's stronger, it has more of a solid feel to it. One of the things that we've discovered with duct tape is it has a tendency to mush in on itself. And unless you keep things like purses filled with stuff, the duct tape tends to lose its shape. Yeah. Have you noticed it that? It doesn't store well. It doesn't store well. But, but this would store well. So all I've done here is added a couple pieces for reinforcement. And now I can come back later and make this attractive. Like mm -hmm. I could put, sure. embellish it some. But let's do the other side the same way. Do you want to do the inside while we're at it to show them how to do the inside? Should we just do one? Let's just do the other side first. Okay. And then it'll be all opened up and we can totally do the inside. Okay. So you're going to pooch that end again and make it into a point and fold it up and I'll hold it for you. A little trick that I've learned. Uh-huh. Let go. Let go, please. Thank you. Is if you go like this, then you can sort of like make sure that you get your angle right so that your purse doesn't get really lopsided. Oh. So see how it's perfectly straight now? We have uh -huh. the right sign. Okay, so now let me hold. hold it, please. So hold it's it. nice to have a second set of hands if you're doing this one. Just at the Definitely. Edges. Again, though, it, what I like about these purses, other than the fact that you can really make them all about what you want them to be and really, really personalize them, what I like about them is that they actually are much more sturdy. You could actually make a box out of out of something like this. You, you could. You could. Like they have at, um, I always think of like Pottery Barn things, but these would be way cooler and funkier mm -hmm. than, yeah. than that. Perfect. So let's do the inside, just like okay. you had mentioned before. So the reason I mentioned about the inside is because as in the advanced purse, whenever you make this pooch down at the bottom, whenever you get that angle thing, you're going to find that your, your edges aren't quite as sealed. Your edges aren't quite as sealed there. See that? So because of that, 
you want to add a strip of tape just because you don't want any stickiness. Right, you don't, it'll end up being like, um, you'll end up getting some like gnarly hair or something in the sticking inside of your purse and that's <laughs> gross. Nobody wants gnarly hair in And now purse. that's not gonna happen. <laughs> whole bunch of stuff in your purse and then Maybe it's like you ew, something get is gnarly sticking. hair in your purse. I have longer hair than you. So maybe that's what's going on. Or maybe I just have a dirty you have a cat. dirtier hair situation. I You're do have a cat. cat. That's what it is. My cat's always messing everything up. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna fold and that's this over. Perfect. Yes. Okay. So as she said you can come back and you can clean this up a little bit, make it a little bit more beautiful. Presentable and beautiful. Yeah. But it's looking good so far. So now you're gonna add what? A handle. A handle. Okay, now, for the handle, again, you're going to want to use the duct tape because it's more flexible. As we talked about how this is kind of sturdy and a little bit more rigid, it's great for the purse part, but for the handle, you're probably going to want a little bit more flexibility so that it doesn't, you know, cut into your shoulder and hurt. So are you going to show them how to make a handle? Leah, let's do, what would you call this when there's two together? Do you call that a... Ah, that's a double fold over strip? A double fold over. So I've actually made my handle that mm -hmm. I'm going to just use this, but I'm going to show you how to make the double fold over just a small piece, so sure. you see. And this will be extra sturdy then, because it's two pieces together. Okay. So we've got Oops. one piece so, of tape. So what she's gonna do, and now, if you were gonna be making a strap, you would make this piece as long as right. you would want it to be. But we're just gonna show a little piece here. Okay. Da -da -da, da -da -da. So you make a fold over strip, and then what you're gonna do is come back and, you, you could do it one of two ways. You could make it a small strap if you wanted to by putting a second piece over top of it, just tied up against it. Oh, like an but extra sturdy one. She's going to make a thick strap. And to do that, she's just going to put a little bit of her tape, right? So just overlap a fourth of an inch there, mm -hmm. your quarter inch, and flip it over. And then you fold it over so that it goes a quarter inch onto the other side. side like that. And it's very beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. I love it. Let's so, Here's her strap, all done and ready. And how do we attach it to your purse? I'm just going to do a couple hole punches. Now, with hole punches, you're going to need a nice, sturdy, good hole punch. One of the things that we've found is that these cheap hole punches on the market, the ones that are like a 99 cents. Uh-oh, talk about the cheap hole punch. They, what happens is they get... Oh, did it, did it do that? Okay, so we're gonna use a pair of scissors here just for time's sake. Yeah, just dig a little hole. And be very careful if you end up doing this, you open up your scissors. Never put your fingers inside because if you put your fingers inside, you could end up jabbing yourself. But I'm just gonna no put jabbing. my fingers on the out. No jabbing, please. Make a little hole here. And what I do is I just take, take my scissors and I rotate them back and forth and back and forth. Now you see my fingers are on the top here. So see there? I've poked through, made a little hole, and you just need to make a tiny little hole here because uh, we're putting a brad in. So I'm just going to do a tiny little slit there. And to make the hole here, we're just going to take a little teeny, we fold it over just like that. This is a good thing to teach them anyway. So if you wanted to make a hole punch, but you don't have a hole punch in your um, strap, you fold it over, and you just make a tiny little cut. Perfect. Like that. And then when you open it up, the hole is big enough for your brad to slip through. Okay, so. Let's put the handle on the inside. Sure. Take your brad, put it through. You wanna show them? Put it through the hole on the outside so that it's in there. Okay. Take your handle, slip it through that hole and open it up. I love opening up brads. There we go. Now, what should I do so that we don't end up with that brad you know, poking me. Should I fold this in and then put a little piece of tape over top of it? That sounds like a great idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just folding this, folding this in here. Like I'll show you these little arms. I'll show you on the other, the next one. Um, folding it in, and we're going to put a piece of tape just over top of the brad. Um, the reason we're going to do that is because if I taped it to the purse, then I wouldn't be able to have this movement from my strap. But I do want to protect any fingers or hands from getting caught on that brad. And we'll show you what I mean on the second side. She's got her brad there. And slip it in there free. Okay. Do you want to open it up since that's your forte? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Opening up brads is my forte. Okay, so put it down. And now we're going to fold these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it in on itself. What's great about brads, because they're very um, malleable. Malleable is a good word, isn't it? Malleable means flexible. So we're going to flexible fold those guys in on top of each other like that. 
and put a little piece of tape on it. Ta-da! And there you have it. It is so beautiful. Oh, look, I can carry my duct tape in it. Ooh, oh, and my scissors can go. In the pocket. In the pocket. I love it. How fabulous is that? It's pretty cool, I like it a lot. So for more ideas on how to stretch your duct tape and make it go farther. 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 <laughs> Come and farther. check us out at sophie-world.com.